as soon as I walk into the sea. I feel at home. I was introduced to freediving through a meditation on the surface that then was guided as a meditation in the water, a breathless meditation. I engaged with a part of my mind that I'd never even knew existed. Prior to being introduced to freediving, I had a very destructive way of coping with life. I identify myself as an addict in recovery. A lot of different ways of self-destructing with drugs, substance abuse, relationships, nutrition. Addiction. Everyone thinks it would never happen to me. If you're not on a park bench homeless with a can of beer in your hand, you're not an addict. And these kind of extremes keep society separate. It isolated me from the rest of the world because I didn't think I was an addict. Because I wasn't homeless. Because I wasn't in prison. In terms of crisis, you take action. But until then, you just live your life and get on with it. And what does that mean to get on with life? You drink, you sleep with someone, you take some drugs, and that to me is addiction. Repeating things that are detrimental to your health. Before freediving, I didn't really know how to cope. All of the things that I reached for were in some way slowly killing me. I feel the more the experience is of elation and complete bliss. And today, freediving gives me that. That tool to relax to be grateful for the life I have today. I wake up in the morning and I'm happy to be alive. Most days. Not every day. I'm a work in progress.